This is the AOC AG251FG and this one is the FC. These are both 1080p 240Hz monitors. The only differentiating factor between them, as you will get to see, is basically just that the FZ has FreeSync and the FG has G-Sync and that's, that's pretty much it. So let's take a look. So taking a look at these side by side, you will notice these are both fairly thin bezeled uh, 25 or 24.5 inch displays. These are still one millisecond greater to response time at 1080p panels. These are TN panels, which is why you can get that 240 hertz refresh rate. But otherwise, as I said, they are basically identical. They have a very similar stand. You have some uh, pan, tilt, height adjust, swivel and all sort of good stuff, as you can tell by the fact that one is taller than the other. But otherwise, uh, they're again, fairly identical there. You also do have a USB pass-through on both the side as well as audio pass-through and a charging USB port. Uh, that's actually a USB 3 hub as well, which is quite nice. And that's featured on the bottom of both of them as well, a USB downlink and another couple of USB 3 ports. You also have the same height adjust mechanism, including the marker for where you like it to sit and a handle on the back as well. You also won't be able to differentiate them by the red accenting on the Aegon logo or on the back of the monitors either, or the nice little headphone hanger. Uh, the only way you will be able to differentiate them is purely by the IO. For the FZ or FZ, depending on where you are in the world, that has a full complement of DVI, HDMI, VGA, and display ports, as well as obviously that hub down the bottom. Whereas for the G-Sync model, because of G-Sync, you only have display ports and HDMI. Now, of course, making use of one of these monitors properly is a pretty hard task, especially when you're trying to drive 240 FPS. Happily though, games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive is fairly easy to run, especially if you turn the settings down, then you're likely going to be seeing well over 300 FPS average, and especially if you unlock the max FPS counter, you can likely get even higher. So with even a relatively modest system like an RX 480, you're still going to get a pretty decent experience on this FreeSync uh, you know, monitor, as long as you're playing relatively easy to run games. So I was primarily testing with the FZ or FZ model as it's uh, the, the test system that I now have mounted under my desk is actually an RX 480 but nonetheless both of them feature the exact same panel the only difference is the scaler or so sort of, you know free sync or G sync so I wouldn't worry too much about that but when actually using the FZ model in fact using either of these they are pretty impressive of course it is TN so viewing angles really aren't that great but general general color reproduction is actually pretty spot on you can use the pre uh, you know the built-in settings but I would say that they do change the color quite a lot and unless you really need to bring out some contrast for games or something like that I generally leave them on the sort of off presets and just you know leave it like that when gaming on the display I was actually really impressed with the overall feel and the, the sort of 240 hertzness of the the experience it was incredibly smooth especially on as I said counter-strike global offensive where it's a little bit easier to run games at higher FPS so for me I was as I said really impressed with the, the smoothness of it I don't know that it affected my gameplay and I did do a full video with this monitor talking about about my overall scoring and stuff like that so if you're interested feel free to check that one out but nonetheless uh, for me this is a very nice experience it's definitely more for the pro gamers though at least in terms of actually making use of it although if you just do want the, the best toys available then this is still pretty good since I got my new shiny GH5 I have put the monitor through its paces with a number of slow motion capture tests to see what the deal is with actually the, the panel itself and how well it keeps up and I've got to say that's also pretty impressive there is really minimal go at 240 hertz and it's certainly not visible in terms of input lag you're looking at, I think about five milliseconds uh, with the, the FreeSync model I think the, the G-Sync one is a little bit uh, more difficult to measure properly but I'm still really impressed with the overall uh, you know uh, monitor experience in terms of both its technical side and the just experience side of things and now for the shocker there is one more way that you can tell which one of these is the FreeSync and which one of these is the G-Sync model and that is by the massive hole in your wallet. The actual price difference between these is kind of insane. So the FreeSync model is a fairly respectable, especially for a 240 hertz uh, you know, monitor, around about £330 in the UK at the time of filming. The G-Sync model, however, is retailing for over £500 at the time of filming in the UK, which is a sizable difference considering these are the same monitor with just a slightly different scalar module inside. And the fact that you actually get more inputs on the cheaper one, it's just... 
it's it's a little bit crazy so if you're interested in one of these monitors let me know in the comments down below which one you would be uh, you know picking up yourself in terms of uh, you know what graphics card you have and stuff like that but i would be interested to hear with that said let's take a look at the scoring now because these are basically the same monitor just with a different scaler and price tag um, i'm going to be scoring these together although do take into account that the value for money score will be significantly lower on the uh, free uh, the g-sync model because of its higher price tag but nonetheless let's take a look so value for money for me i think this is going to be a, a 3.5 on an average between them since while they are really nice monitors for gaming you really do have to be a professional gamer to get any real use case out of them and i think for the average person i don't think it's that great value for money but when it comes to performance however i'm going to have to give them both a 5 when it comes to functionality i'm going to go with i think a 4.5 here because viewing angles aren't that great and obviously while you are looking at a 240 hertz gaming monitor that you're meant to be sitting straight in front of it's certainly not an all-rounder hence the lower functionality score in terms of styling for me i'm going to go with i think a 4 and in terms of touching maybe score i'm going to go with i think a 4.5 and a gold ward those are both really awesome monitors and especially compared to the asus uh, pg258q which again is a similar price point to the g-sync one especially if you've picked up uh, an rx vega 56 or 64 and this free sync model is actually a pretty good show if you are interested in getting into the more professional side of esports and stuff like that so yeah, I guess that's pretty much that. If you want to know any more about the monitors, take a look at the price when and where you watch this. Take a look at the links in the description down below as I have links to both of them for you. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. I, did, I do hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear from you which one of these you would prefer in the comments down below and which one you would pick up yourself. And otherwise, as I said, that's pretty much it. We'll leave some other videos over here for you. And if you want to subscribe, feel free to do so as well. There's also some other links in the description down below, including my Amazon affiliate link, as that does genuinely help me out and keep me making these videos on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday basis. So if you could use those when you're shopping on either of those sites, that'd be fantastic. And there's some other links down there too. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.